What's up guys, Austin Numi here today, coming at you with yet another Adobe Premiere CC 2017 tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about a really cool TV noise glitch effect that you can use for your next music video. It's a really simple effect you can do right here inside Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2017. Before we begin, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, make sure to subscribe for more filmmaking and editing tutorials just like this one with post notifications on. So I've got my fresh clip here in my timeline. This is my friend Lua and she's going to be demonstrating how this effect is applied. We're going to drag this fresh clip to track two right here in the middle. And then we're gonna grab a TV noise background. I've linked a free one below you can find here on YouTube in the description. I'm gonna grab this and drag it onto my timeline. I'm gonna hold down Alt with this clip selected and drag to the right so I can duplicate this layer. I'm gonna size this up to the same size of my original clip. So with this original clip selected here of Lua, I'm gonna to go to my effects panel and type in Luma. Grab Luma key and drag that onto your top layer. You're gonna see the effect immediately apply. Go down here to your effects panel on this top layer. I'm gonna use a threshold of 25%. I use it, I just kinda of feel like it works best for me. And cutoff was 11. You may have to tailor these a little bit depending on the exposure in your clip. Now that I have those all set, I see this effect in areas that I don't want it. So all I would simply do is while I have this top clip selected, hold down Alt and drag up to duplicate the layer. I'm gonna delete the Luma key off the top layer, go to the beginning of this clip here, go under Opacity, and select Create Ellipse Mask. I'm gonna drag this around her hair because this is kind of where I want to block off. This is the only area that I really want this effect to come in at. So I'm gonna go down to invert it and check that so the effect is just around this area. Now what I would do is I would just simply hit the stopwatch here to start a keyframe. I would move along and when I saw it was in areas that I didn't want, I'd go back to my mask and readjust it. And every time you would readjust it while you have this selected, it's gonna go ahead and automatically keyframe each of those points. So I would just go through the entire clip and do that. For the tutorial's sake, I'm going to speed this process up. So now that I have all my keyframes set, I would go back to the beginning and I would start this effect. And I started it right when her hand touched the back of her head. I clipped this TV noise a little bit. I went one frame to the right, brought out my cutting tool, clipped it there. One more frame to the right using the right arrows. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, make it easier. One more frame to the right, one more frame to the right, one more frame to the right. Hit V on your keyboard to bring up the selection tool and I deleted the clips in between. Drag that one more frame over. And that's how I popped it on. And then I did the same thing to exit out. That's as simple as this effect is. I hope that this video has helped you. If it has, make sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe to this channel for more filmmaking and editing tutorials, just like this one with post notifications on. I've been Austin Newman. You can find my work on Instagram, at Austin Makes Films. And until next time, guys, we'll see you later.